Um, Inter Milan were pretty much circumcised. They were pretty much circumcised by Gareth Bale. I mean, I can't put it any simpler than that. But more than that, really, I mean, we can talk about Bale, who was ridiculous in this in this match. But Tottenham, they completely outplayed Inter Milan. And Inter Milan, they played badly. They played badly. And really, again, I told you, Eto, he's, he, he's, he's a beast. And that's what Eto does. Like, he did it in the Champions League final. Out of not Inter, Inter didn't deserve to score a single goal in that game. In that game. They were, they, they sucked. I mean, really, to be honest, they were raw rubbish. So, and you really have to go down to Bebenitas because tactically, you were, they didn't know what, what they were doing. They were clueless, you know. Obviously, Tottenham, they defended well, but they were completely clueless. As for Tottenham, man, it's like, they just had so much life. Like, I mean, they had so many chances. They had a lot of many chances to score, you know. Um, again, Van der Vaart was, was amazing. And you could see, like, he timed his run very well. He was very clever. He he stopped, waited, and then bought more. That's what I'm saying. I mean, Bill was outstanding today. That's a fact. But, man, Modric played very well. Van der Vaart played very well. Asuik Hotsu played. I mean, Huddleston played very well. Like, I mean, him just holding in there, his vision, spreading the ball when it has to be spread. I mean... Because remember, it was Modric's dribble. He's crazy little fake and fake and, and feints that led to the goal. So really, you know, they, you can't just focus on on one guy. Tottenham as a whole, th- defensively, they were great. Galas, Kabul, they were solid. And from that, really, you just like as it, for, it, was a, it was a team performance. You know, yes, Bill was as I mean, those were two crazy assists. Like I mean, the one for Pavlochenko. Like I mean, he just destroyed Lucio for acceleration. And I think the key thing about Bill is that he's not like fast as in like quickly with pace. It's acceleration. And that's the key. Like in football, you don't want guys who are just fast. Okay, yeah, just go and do sprinting. You want people who have good acceleration. Yeah, obviously you need pace, but it's the key thing is acceleration. And even more important than that is acceleration mixed in with control. It's like the thing with Bill is that he knows how to use his acceleration. So he so he knows how far to move the ball forward and just how to just make use of that little space and use his acceleration to to beat the player. And again, that's that takes a lot of skill. It takes a lot of skill. And but but the fact that it's just not. I mean, the guy just has very good control. I mean, he if he leaves Tottenham in January or in the next season, he's 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 an idiot. He may leave. He will probably leave because footballers they, they, these days are very stupid people. But if he's clever and and he has some brains in himself, he's like, you don't don't leave Tottenham. Like, you can be a superstar for these guys. And basically, Bill should only leave if Harry Redknapp leaves. If Harry Redknapp leaves, then he should leave. But as long as Harry Redknapp stays, Tottenham, this this is a team for the few future, man. I don't care. Look, I don't care about oh what Tottenham did in the ages of all blah, 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 like that. I told you, I mean, the reason why I'm focused on Tottenham as much is that you know. I look at guys who they play the football that I like to watch. And the, tot- the football that Tottenham are playing with Harry Redknapp is the football that I, I like to watch. You know, and I think it's all down to Harry Redknapp because, again, you look at his West Ham team. You look at his, 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 his Portsmouth team. And, again, with his Tottenham team, not winning here, now has good players. It's like Harry Redknapp just... The, the way he, he, he coaches and the way his teams play is how football should be played. Where... It's about attacking. It's about entertainment. It's about guys running. It's about energy. It's about skill. It's you know. It's really. It's about football, you know. And you could just see that you know, with Gareth Bale, you just look at Bale. Look, man, you are amazing. Beats the player. So you could just see that in his mind, he has a confidence from and given to him by the manager that, who I don't care whether you you get tackled, just keep trying to be the player. Keep trying to be the player. Keep trying to be the player. And again, that's probably why England feels so much because in England it's about oh. Pass, pass, or oh, pass, pass, and you know, if you dribble, don't dribble, just play the easy ball. Boss for higher red up is about no. If he sees a guy who is skillful, he says no, beat the player. Same, like, I even focus on Lennon. Do you know how well Lennon played in that game? You know, yes, he's coming back from injury, but again, Lennon, man, that guy, he he he, he basically just dashed two guys, yeah, yellow card. Just say, look, Shivu and um, Samuel, yellow card, take boom, you know, because like. He totally destroyed Chivu and Samuel. Like if he had been, if he had, if Chivu and Samuel had not fouled him, that's uh, that's pretty much another goal. 
especially for the Samuel one, which she knew. Samuel just said, okay, Ogasa. She, um, but see, man, I mean, wow, 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 wow. I mean, um, I didn't ex. I was surprised by how bad Inter were, and I think Inter Milan are finding it hard to adjust to um, Benitez's coaching style. I mean, Benitez is he's, he's not a bad coach; he's an extremely good coach. But I think Inter have been so used to playing a particular style, especially because the win starts different from what Mancini was doing. I mean, obviously, Mourinho, he made them a lot more defensive and a lot more solid. But I think, really, they weren't really that different. And I think the key thing is, like, they have lost their defensive solidarity. You know, as in, like, under Mourinho, they were, they're not going to leak three goals. Under Mourinho, they are not leaking three goals. That's that's just a fact. They are not leaking three goals. You know, and just defensively, they're just, you know, it's just not working. You know, it's just not working. Like, you know... um, it's really just not just not working, you know. Um but um yeah man, I think for Tottenham man, sky's the limit, man, sky's the limit. I mean they just need to just sort out if um they just need to sort out the very Bremen at home and I and I think apparently they lost to FC twenty which is very good. They just need to just do something away at twenty, just get something done there. If they could, if they could get something done there, boom, they're finished. I'm not sure which is their last game, but come on, Bremen at home beat those guys. Come on, if you just beat an Inter 3-1, Bremen at home, beat those guys. Just beat them. Make it happen. You know, um, and FC 20, get something. Come on, it's FC 20, get something there, man. Come on. So really, Tottenham, man, I mean, they are... But I think, man, Tottenham fans, because I, I keep on hearing some of Tottenham fans, like, you know, where they're since, the way they were angry because they lost to um, Wigan or something at home. I say, Tottenham fans, look, man, no. Have some some, some respect. I don't. I, I told you. I don't give a damn about Tottenham's history. This is the best Tottenham team that there's ever been in their whole history. Okay, I don't care about all the days of all the the good. No, no, no. This the Tottenham team I'm looking at now with the likes of Lennon, Gareth Bale, um, Huddleston, Pavlichenko, Crouch, Defoe, this Van der Vaart. This is the best Tottenham team that there's ever been. You know, Gallas in there, Kabul in. Now this is the best. As we call so, the players here, the way they are playing. And just how they play football, it's the best Tottenham team that that has ever been. So Tottenham fans should shut, shut their mouths and say, "Man, Harry Redknapp, thank you, <laughs> thank you for giving us a team that can really. This is a team that can win things, you know. It's a team that can really win. Like, can they can really win things, you know? Um, and um, that's also also it'd be very interesting to see Tottenham against Arsenal, man. You know, it would be very interesting to to, to see that because. Tottenham, they're now like they're now a real proper proper team now. You know, I mean, they, they wholeheartedly deservedly spanked Inter Milan. I mean, they gave Inter Milan a spanking. Like Inter fans must would well because the, it was pretty embarrassing how badly Inter played. You know, it was pretty it was pretty uh, uh, embarrassing. You know, um, and also even though the funny thing was like I was reading online that um, there's like a, a Twitter battle between them. Um, Van der Vaart and um, Snyder. Basically, Snyder was basically insulting English football. So, you know, how could he score? Blah, blah, blah. Who are you guys? And Snyder was obviously just like, yeah, I'm going to score. And the funny thing, Snyder, Snyder, um, Van der Vaart scored. Played, played very well. Snyder, he, he, he didn't score. Inter played rubbish. So, that would be very funny between them. But, um, listen, man. Tottenham, Tottenham uh they, they're a very exciting team, man. They're, a, they're an extremely exciting team. I think, yes, Gareth Bale played absolutely outstanding. The, the guy is great. He is like a superstar. You know, the way he plays and the way he really... He, his effect on the game is like, you know, this, this, is, this, is, this is the makings of, of, of a superstar. But I think that um, really um, the um, key thing is... Um, Harry, 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 Harry Redknapp, he is the key thing. And I think people need to really appreciate what Harry, Harry Redknapp ha- has done and just how amazing a coach he is, you know. And I think that is where the um, congratulations should really be headed to. It's like the, the, what this man has done for Tottenham here.